Liver Apsis, an update on current management. This important article is authored by the following scientists. Liver abscess is a rare condition that causes pain over the right hypochondrium with fever. Liver abscesses are classified into amoebic liver abscesses and pyogenic liver abscesses. Diagnosis is commonly confirmed by performing an ultrasound or computerized tomography. The management of liver abscesses has seen a trend toward minimally invasive procedures like percutaneous drainage and intravenous antibiotics. For abscesses that are larger than 5 cm, percutaneous drainage of the abscess is considered the gold standard treatment. Percutaneous drainage can be divided into percutaneous catheter drainage and percutaneous aspiration. Surgical drainage can be divided into open and laparoscopic drainage. In this chapter, the management of liver abscesses was examined, especially the role of percutaneous drainage, includes percutaneous catheter drainage, percutaneous aspiration, and surgical drainage. A comprehensive literature review was conducted using PubMed, the Cochrane Database of Systemic Reviews, Google Scholar, and Semantic Scholar looking for randomized control trials, non-randomized trials, observational and cohort studies, clinical reviews, systemic reviews, and meta-analyses from 1990 to 2025. Currently, percutaneous drainage of liver abscess is the first-line interventional procedure that is performed for patients with liver abscesses. Open surgical drainage is rarely performed now. The use of percutaneous catheter drainage and antibiotics has led to a 90% success rate. Early diagnosis and prompt initiation of treatment are critical, as they significantly reduce morbidity and mortality. Introduction Liver abscess is a serious but uncommon condition where a pocket of pus forms in the liver due to an infection. It can be life-threatening if not treated properly. There are two main types, pyogenic, caused by bacteria, and amoebic, caused by a parasite. Pyogenic liver abscesses are more common in older adults, especially those with health problems like diabetes or liver disease. The most common bacteria responsible vary by region, with Klebsiella pneumoniae being more frequent in Asia. Amoebic abscesses are more often seen in younger individuals and are linked to a parasitic infection called amoebiasis. People with a liver abscess often experience fever, chills, right-side abdominal pain, and sometimes jaundice. Diagnosis is usually made using imaging tools like ultrasound or CT scans. Treatment involves antibiotics given through a vein for two weeks, followed by oral antibiotics for about a month. If the abscess is large, doctors may need to drain it using a needle or a small tube. Surgery is only done if these methods don't work. This chapter reviews different drainage methods used to treat liver abscesses and is based on a detailed review of medical research studies published between 1990 and 2025. Conclusion Liver abscesses, or pus-filled infections in the liver, are now mostly treated using less invasive procedures like percutaneous catheter drainage or needle aspiration, along with antibiotics. These methods have a high success rate of around 90%, making open surgery rarely necessary. In Asia, the most common cause is a bacteria called Klebsiella pneumoniae, while in Western countries, it's usually Escherichia coli. Catching and treating liver abscesses early is crucial, as it greatly reduces the risk of serious complications or death. In cases where less invasive treatments don't work, laparoscopic, keyhole, Surgery is now being used instead of traditional open surgery. For general surgeons, recognizing and treating this condition promptly is essential to improving patient outcomes and reducing serious health risks. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel BP International to watch more videos in the fields of science, technology and medicine.